Come and talk to me, ooh. <laughs> Any game, I'm ready to roll. Got my controller, I'm in control. Level it up, rise into the top. Gotta beat every challenge. Hey guys, it's your boy back again with another video and let's slouch down so we can have a conversation. I am currently on my third pair of boots. I know, right? Now, I'm somewhat frugal when it comes to certain things. When it comes to my phone, not frugal. Gaming, not frugal. Headphones, yeah, semi-frugal. Well, I'm on my third pair of Beats, like I said. What started my love of Beats were the original Beat Studio 3s. I mean, when I first started using those things, man, I put them on, turned the bass all the way up, and man, I felt like it was a dwarf in my brain just doing the Harlem Shake. I'm talking, and they sounded phenomenal to me. Now, I'm a bass head. I'm not an audio file. So to me, they sounded good. I couldn't pass this up. So I put them on and I started playing with them. And I, I was blown away because like I said, it's been a while since I've used my beats. And they sounded phenomenal. I absolutely love these things. So if you can come across a pair of beats for the low, pick them up. The Pro Series are amazing for what you get for the price. Now, only thing I don't like about them, yes, they're four-year-old, I know. The new ones that are starting to come out do have the Type-C port like everything else. Finally, we're going all Type-C, but I'm still using my iPhone 14 Pro Max with the Lightning. So having a Lightning charging device doesn't bother me. I charge my phone, charge my headphones. Win-win. Now, I love the fact that unlike the Solo 3s, which I had, in the Studio 3s, you had to turn the button off. Literally, you close these things and they power off. I love that feature. And now I can find them on my Find Mine. Love that too. Game on, game on, I'm here to dominate. No one can stop me, I won't hesitate. 